and welcome back to your weekly slice of Mario Kart Gatto. I'm Kate. And I'm Joe. Every Friday we'll be here to give you a rundown of some of our favourite additions to Mario Kart 8 and taking a trip through time to look back at some classic Mario Kart moments. We'll also be joined by some very special guests along the way who'll tell us about their favourite Mario Kart experiences and we have a great competition that you just have to be a part of. Coming up in today's episode, we answer your questions about time trials and races, take a look at how items have changed since Mario Kart Wii, talk to our friends about the devious blue shell, and update you on our competition, Mario Kart Beatbox. But first, it's time for Inside Track. Inside Track is your chance to ask us anything you want about Mario Kart 8. Thank you for all the questions you've sent in so far, and remember if you do have a burning question about Mario Kart that you want answered, just leave it in the comments below or get in touch on Twitter. Our Twitter address is O&M underscore UK, which you can see at the bottom of the screen now. So start sending in those questions. We'll pick the best ones every week and answer them here. Today's question is from Brawler1993, who wants to know, will single player consist of Grand Prix and time trials, or will it be like DS and Wii where you can race on any course? Well, Brawler, that is your real name, you've got a bit of both. Essentially, there are now eight Grand Prix, so that's 16 new tracks, and also four cups made up of old Mario Kart tracks brought up to date for the new HD version. You've also got Versus races, however, which do let you race on any course, as well as changing rule sets like how hard the AI is that you're racing against, as well as things like items you can use. There's also the return of Time Trial and Battle Mode. Time Trial will pit you against your friends, people online, and even members of the Nintendo development team who are fiendishly difficult. Battle, rather than taking place on arenas as it did before, now takes place over the entire course. Yeah! Now, remember if you want to have your question on the show, get in touch with us at ONM underscore UK on Twitter. Right, on to then and now. This is our look back at a classic Mario Kart feature, and a chance to show you how it has or hasn't changed in Mario Kart 8. It could be anything from a look back at a classic track, or seeing how characters have evolved over the years. This week though, it's items, and specifically how they've changed or stayed the same from Mario Kart Wii. Ever since the introduction of the maddeningly unavoidable blue shell, the expletive-inducing banana peel and the red shell that hunts you down with the fervour of someone who's just heard that there's free cake nearby, Mario Kart has been all about the items. Mario Kart Wii kept it fairly simple with the old classics, but also introduced the Mega Mushroom, which increases your size, the Thundercloud, which hangs overhead with the threat of a shock, and the Power Block, which sends everyone else skidding. Mario Kart 8 gets rid of those, but adds three new items, the Super Horn, the Crazy 8, and the Boomerang. The Boomerang is just a 3U screen shell, essentially. The Crazy 8 is a beefier version of Mario Kart 7's Lucky 7, eight items revolving around your kart to be fired in no particular order, but the Super Horn is possibly the biggest thing to happen to Mario Kart since Luigi passed his driving test. With it, it's now possible to destroy a blue shell. Sure, it takes some very precise timing, and you might need to hoard the Super Horn like you're a dragon and it's a big pile of gold and sexy dragon ladies, but it's worth it just to hold on to that precious first place. There are still plenty of series standards like bananas, red shells and mushrooms, and bullet bills and fire flowers have stuck around for those of us lagging behind and in need of some aid. The balance is made much better. Some items you'll only get once in a blue moon, while less powerful ones pop up with frustrating frequency. Best start learning how to aim a green shell right into Bowser's exhaust pipe. Right, time for a bit more classic Mario as we reminisce about the blue shell in Mario Kart memories. This is the part of the show where we get together with some of our friends and discuss some of our fondest Mario moments from yesteryear, like the time Joe left bum prints on the Wii U gamepad. No fingerprints. As I said, this week it's all about the blue shell, so here are some of our memories. I was in a uni mate's uh, room, we were all playing, about four of us. I remember at the end of the race, I, was, I think it was a friend of mine who was uh, in first place, and yes, blue shell, out of nowhere, and he knew it was coming as well, which is a great, it's a great thing about the blue shell, you kind of know it's coming, um, and there's that anticipation of it striking as well. It was just before the finish line, obviously. Um, and then he end up, ended up coming like 7th or 8th or something like that. I was playing Double Dash with three friends of mine. My first friend, she, um, I had a blue red shell, I was at the back of the race, and just lobbed it at her. I didn't win either, but she didn't win, so that was alright. It's not that I'm that old. <laughs> uh, last game I played uh, Mario Kart on was the Super Nintendo system, uh, but the blue shell literally didn't exist back then. Uh, so now it does exist. Uh, it's strangely enough no longer a problem because you can use the super horn to squirt it away. 
Well, uh, that's the theory, because every time I've tried to use the super horn, it's ended in abject shining failure. But in the following race, she decided that she wanted to get revenge on me. I was up there in first place, battling out. There were three or four of us right at the front, really going for it. She was at the back, tailing behind. She managed to get it, and I just heard her shout, Revenge! Um, lobbed the thing, but as I could hear her, as she had shouted it, she'd given the game away. So I just gently pulled back, she lobbed it, hit her boyfriend instead, and I just sailed past the finish line. Immediately afterwards, um, you know how they always kind of tell you to put the strap on um, before you attach the Wiimote or whatever? He uh, kind of flailed like this, like in exasperation, and threw his uh, Wiimote out of the window of this, uh, of this room. But um, the window was actually closed at the time, so it just smashed through the glass and out into the street, um, which was um, great. We were also on like, uh, it was a three-story uh, uni apartment building as well, so it kind of, yeah, that Wiimote wasn't going to um, be used again. <laughs> Our final section is another bit where you get to join in with us. Lucky you. Mario Kart Beatbox is our competition and your opportunity to be part of something very special. We're recreating the sound effects to Mario Circuit from Mario Kart 8, using nothing but the lovely sounds of your voices. Every week we'll pick the best Mario Kart impressions and feature them in next week's show. At the end of the series, on May 30th, we'll pick the overall winners and create an entire lap of the game using our pick of the best noises. Better yet, the winners will also get their very own copy of Mario Kart 8. Last week, we asked you for the vroom and the starting light noises, which sounded a bit like this. But, 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 but. This week, however, we want you to send in your best finish line and banana drop impressions. To enter, all you need to do is film a short video of yourself doing the impressions, lasting no longer than 10 seconds. You can make it as exciting as you like, pop on some dungarees, make your own set, whatever. But it's the quality of your impression that matters, so make sure we can see and hear you clearly. You can record the clip on a phone, or a camera, or even some tin cans and string, but we'd prefer if you emailed it to us at mariokartbeatbox at gmail.com. So, get practicing, like Kate. Oink. And send us your entries no later than Wednesday, May the 21st, and you might be on next week's show. We hope you've enjoyed today's show. If you did, don't forget to hit the like button and why not subscribe so you never miss another episode. Thanks for joining us everyone and see you next week. Bye. Goodbye!